Hello, students. Good uh, evening, everybody. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hey, hello. Welcome. How are you guys? How are you today? Hello. Hello. How are you today, guys? Is everything okay? Are you ready to start a class today? Yes, that's great. So let's start today with our classes. It's actually a great opportunity, you know, to um, to be active and also learn English because that's something important. So let's welcome to all of you guys. And uh, we start as every single class, the opportunity, you know, to learn a lot and also practice. And um, welcome. And I hope that we will learn today a lot about the, the exercises we have and we can feel, you know, encouraged and also ready to practice. So before that we start with the with the class, I just want to ask you, so what did we study yesterday in our class? What do you remember we studied? What topics were content we studied for the class? Who wants to help me? So tell me, what do you remember we started? Tell me, tell me, I'm waiting. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. A little, a little sick because I, I have a habit. Oh, I'm sorry for, for that. I'm sorry to hear that. And um, I hope that you can you can be better. So take medicine, and because it's important. Thank you, teacher. I can see, I can hear you. You you ask the the we re review the the adjectives. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we're talking about the review of the adjectives. And what kind of adjectives did we study in the class? What do you remember? Superlative and comparative, too. Okay, that's great. So we were studying about that, correct. Okay, so what else we can say, guys? So give me some ideas about it. I just want to listen to you. What else we can say, guys? Yes, hello. 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 Yes. Yes. About what, teacher? About the class, yesterday's class. Ah, uh, we were uh, doing some exercises about comparatives and superlatives. Amazing. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. And also we'll continue with some other topics that we will socialize for the class today. And uh, I think we're ready for this. And let's see what happened today. First of all, we're talking about equations with how. That's the topic that we will uh, develop right here in the class today. So well, that's part of the video conference, equations with how. So for this, and let's check this side here. And also we have the first activity. We're talking about our recommendations. Look at that one. It says, look at the structure. It says, imagine these people are planning to visit your country. They are planning to visit El Salvador. They, they want to come to El Salvador. What would they enjoy doing? That's the topic. Look at this one. Uh, what would they enjoy doing? Agree on a recommendation for each person. Um, I really, look at this one. We have Molly, Rhode, and Teresa. Look at the first one. It says, um, 
I really like quiet places where I can relax, hike, and enjoy the views I can't stand by crowds. So that's what Molly says. Look at that one. So we had to give a recommendation about where to go. Think about it. Think about this part. Now let's check what Rod says. If he says, I love to eat in nice restaurants, go dancing and stay, and stay out late at nine. And I don't like small towns. So we have another idea about what place do you recommend in El Salvador to go? Because he says that he loves uh, eating in, in nice restaurants. And also he likes dancing and stayed out late at night. And he doesn't like a small town. So what city do you recommend road? And look at the last one. Um, Teresa. Teresa says, my favorite activity is shopping. I love to buy gifts to take home. I don't like modern shopping malls. Look at that. So what's what she's looking for? In that case, she's looking for buying some things. Uh, buying gift, buy products, a lot of things, take home, and she uh, she doesn't like modern shopping malls. So what recommendations can you give to these people? It, 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 because we're talking about Salvador. So what would they enjoy doing? And uh, look at this one. Molly should, Molly should go to this place because it has a beautiful restaurants, and also because it's very beautiful, because you can find a beautiful view. And also it's not crowded. Few people go there. So you are talking about a possible recommendation that you can give to, to one of these people. So what I want you to do is in a briefly way, think about what place do you recommend to Molly? What place do you recommend to Rod? And what place do you recommend to Teresa according what what they want to do or according to the places that they would like to be. In a briefly way, so you had to try to explain. Um, so because you know Molly likes places where she can relax, nice places, no crow uh, no crowded, and enjoy the views. What beautiful landscapes you can recommend, and also road, and also Teresa. So I will give you in this moment uh, a couple of minutes to say which ideas about places do you recommend? Yes? So let's start now. I will give you a, a moment to think about it. And then I will ask you and you say, teacher, me, I want to participate. Well, for me, Molly, she should go to this place because she needs this one, okay? So take a short time.
okay, let's um let's try to give some ideas about about this part, and you can help me with this. So, I are, are you ready? Yes. Perfect. So let's see how it is. Okay. Um, what recommendations can you give to Molly to visit in El Salvador? What places do you recommend to her to go? I recommend El Pital. Molly should go to El Pital because it has the best view in the country. And it is very quiet. Wow, that is a great recommendation. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. I also would like to go there too because it's very interesting. Great job. Okay. Um okay. And what about Rod? Uh, who wants to help me to talk about Rod? Okay. Me, teacher. Yes, thanks. Uh, I recommend uh, one restaurant in the beach, exactly Metalillo Beach in El Salvador. This a little restaurant and with with two twelve rooms, and once have a beautiful beach. And the evening is very awesome, but you can see the sunset from your balcony mm -hmm. and. And this restaurant have a little discount and have a service at night. And it's perfect for the dancing or going with another people. No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, thank you so much. Actually, it was great, definitely. Um, you know, congratulations for the work done. It's actually great to know about um, road. And also, that is actually a good way, you know, to go destinations. That, that's very nice. Also, I totally agree about those places in which, you know, you can, you know, eat a lot, go dancing, having a party. Yeah, it's definitely important. Congratulations for the work done. And... Uh, Let's see, what about Teresa? Who wants to help me? Someone else? Okay, who wants to give a recommendation to Teresa where, about where to go? Okay, teacher. For me, um, she also likes to hide so in Suchitoto City. Okay. Uh, hello. 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 Yes, we listen. Okay. Listen. Okay, for me, uh, she also like to hide and so Chitoto is a very place for me for Teresa. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, this is also a nice recommendation. It's a, a good place to go, totally, that I, I really love those places too. And um, we also, we know a lot of beautiful places right there. Somebody else would like to give a, a, an opinion or an idea about another recommendation. You say, me, teacher, I want to say something. You, you can do it too. You can say it. Me to share. So then, go ahead. I recommend I recommend a Teresa to visit to buy gifts to take home the frown because the frown uh, have a lot of 
thing to the home. She need to uh, put more beautiful the house. Here can here can uh, cheer uh, the song thing for for the house home for the home. Okay, nice, nice, nice. In that case, uh, thank you so much. Uh, somebody else th that would like to give a, another opinion or recommendation to? Okay, someone else? No one else, no participation in this part. Okay, let's go with the next one. And um, we're going to uh, continue with the next activity. And we have a listening exercise. For this one, I want you to do the next part. So I will have to change here the um, my screen because I need to show you something right now. In the one second. And I will share with you by this link the following you know conversation so look at this one it's a listening exercise that i want you to practice can you see my presentation hello yes okay what i want you to do is yes. go to the chat you have to listen the a conversation and you have to um oh. answer this part you have to listen and respond this question or does this new program take place? Or does it John read the read the questions, please? So you will listen this audio. Look at this one. And you had to try to answer the following questions according to the conversation that you will listen. So please, when you listen, take notes because later we will socialize the answers right here in the class. Is that is that okay, student? Okay, okay. Yes. Excellent. So take this short time and listen the conversation. And when we come back, we will you will help me to respond these questions according to what you have heard. And uh, you can start now in silence, microphone off, please. And if someone finishes, you say, teacher, I finished. Okay, let's go.
Are you ready? Almost ready? Finish. Excellent. We have the first one. Okay. Someone else finished too. A volunteer. Someone else. Someone else finished too. Hello. Um, someone else finished too? I finished too. You finished too. Okay, perfect. So let's see what happened here in the following exercise. The question number one is, where does the, this new program take place? According to this, um, to the conversation, what do you get from that? In a shopping mall. Shopping mall. Okay, nice. Nice to know that. All right, and how does the young girl, Elizabeth, celebrate this holiday with her family? What do you get from that? Visit, visit her grandparents' house. Oh, okay. Okay. So visit, can, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Visit. Visit grandparents' house. Okay, and also, yes, in that case, relatives. Okay, that's perfect. What does John and his family eat on this day? Turkey. 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 That's great. It's a very traditional food there. And Steve, Stephen feels that Christmas is a time when people... Uh-huh. Stephen feels that Christmas is a time. This was something like give the give to the people the that song? they don't expect. Okay. Why, yeah. Why so, they don't expect to receive. Mm -hmm. It was something like give up, give uh, to the people. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Okay, think think of others. Because when you think about other people and you give something to them, but you don't expect to, to receive something in change. So you do it because it's from your heart, but you don't have to receive anything else. That's correct. And the last one is that the final girl says that the best thing about Christmas is... Having a vacation from school. Yeah, so the vacation time is the best, definitely. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Okay, so congratulations for that one. You, you had a good listening part and also listening, you know, different conversations can help us. Okay, look at the next exercise here. And we have to test our world knowledge. Look at the next details right here. It says that test your world knowledge. France is the most popular country to visit, and it has about, you know, 76 million visitors a year. So in that case, uh, we're going to um, practice this information. So I want you to check. And, well, we're going to work in a small groups, and we will socialize this test. But uh, before that we go on to the breakout rooms, I just want to ask you, if you have a question about the vocabulary, please check check the vocabulary and say, teacher, I, I don't recognize this word. 
Oh, I don't understand what does it mean. So I can help you before going to, to the breaker rooms. Check that one, please. Check if you have questions. If not, we we can you know go back to the breaker rooms. Yes, I have a question. Tell me. Okay, in the last part of the your knowledge that in the part of Easter Island, what is the meaning of isolated? Okay, the word isolated, it's related to that the island that the island it doesn't have other islands around so it's the unique we could say um also we could say that it's far away from other places that's the, the meaning about isolated it's far away from other places buildings or some remote place island in that case and we also could say in spanish like aislado ah uh, yeah yeah thank you thank you you're welcome okay um something else Students that maybe are worried that maybe you don't know, or maybe you can ask. I, uh, yes. well, other word that I don't recognize is the part of Canada is the meaning of coastline. Um, Canada, uh, yeah, in this case, it's the line costera, the longest coastline. Um, it's like the shore of the coast of any country on earth. It's like uh two hundred forty three point seven hundred ninety two kilometers. Yeah, in that case is is the coastline, la línea costera, as we call it in in Spanish. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's see this uh part, and the goal is that you can also investigate and also check that part. And um, one second, one second. So for this, we will break in the breakout rooms and we will focus in this information here. Let's see. Okay, because this is a general questions like geography, we will work in big breakout rooms. And so all of us, we can work together to identify this thing so we're going to work groups of four members so let's create them and then you get in and you try to respond this one uh these uh pictures were sent to the whatsapp group and let's go eh, la idea es que ustedes puedan contestar este test verdad y ustedes lo lean cada uno va leyéndolo lo lee y luego pues lo socializan cuál puede ser la posible respuesta let's go
Hello. Hello. Si gusta, le, eh, le pregunto, usted me pregunta. Ah. Es de si es verdadero o falso lo que aparece en la ciudad o cómo es la actividad. Correcto, lo que yo comprendí era que vamos a investigar la información a ver si es verdadero o falso. Sería, France is the most popular country to visit. It has about 76 million visitors out here. How do you consider? Is true. Yes, it's true. And the second one is China has the great number of stores in the world. There are over uh, 19 million stores. Hello. It's true, no. Yeah, Lake by Baikal in Russia is the deepest deepest take of her is a one hundred six sixteen thirty-seven meters. One thousand sixteen thirty-seven meters and five point three hundred seventy-one feet deep. Sería, ¿cómo sería falso la palabra? Perdón. Para decir que es falso, ¿qué palabra sería? Después. Ok, Tokio, this night is the world's most popular. Amusement park. It has over. My visitor. Yeah, ready? it's true. Eh, los demás compañeros no sé si van a participar. The longest month of flight is from New York to Singapore is 20 hours long. The longest month of flight is from New York to Singapore is 18 long, 18 hours long. So yeah, fancy. Yes, the business airport in the world is London Hareton with over 15.5 million passengers of year. It's true. Yes, it's true. Canada has the longest gas cost of any country on Earth is a 243.792 kilometers and 155 and 485 miles long.
It's true. I don't have idea, but the information is not clear in the internet. I, I, consider, I consider it true, yeah. Okay. Me okay, too. it's okay. Easter Island is the world's most isolated island. It is bad. It's about three, 300, so yeah. 3,700 3, kilometers. I consider it is false. It's false. It's false. Elena, no sé si, si, le, si gustaría usted participar esta, esta ronda. Bueno, nos vemos en clase. Good evening. Good evening. Hola. Hi. Well, uh, students, well, uh, thank you for practicing. We developed different information and also some of you investigated in different nets or material. And uh, we go on to the next part. Well, it's important to know a little bit about geography. There are a lot of details and information that we could add and for, you know, this kind of topics. And also, I, I was checking some important cities and some details about this part. Well, let's introduce a little bit the following topics that we call the equations with how. That's the, the topic for this class. And I need you to pay attention in this part. And uh, we can see this one. I need a volunteer for helping me to read um, this part. Um, for example, what it says, how far, how big, who wants to help me to read? Me, me teacher. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, um, Marco? Yes, okay. Okay, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Only the question or the question and the answer? Oh, if you want to read the question and the answer, that's awesome. Okay, okay. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about... 2,000 kilometers. How big is Singapore? It's about 648 square kilometers. How high is Mount Cook? It's about 3,740 meters height. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 1, meters deep. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long. How hot is Oakland in the summer? It's get up 
to about 23 Celsius. And how cold is how cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 Celsius. Oh, thank you so much, Marco. Great job. Thanks. So yeah, that's very interesting. And also you you manage also the amounts. That's very, very nice to know. Uh, from down to up. That's great. So we can see here, you know, that's why we ask questions about questions with how. So how far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot and how cold to, to know about temperatures. And also for each one, we can see um, the first one in the right side, the miles and check the miles and also the temperatures like uh, 1,200 miles, uh, 250 square miles, 12, uh, 12,250 feet, like 6,250 feet, 3,710 miles, and 74 Fahrenheit, and 50 Fahrenheit to the, the sequence. So you can see here about these, you know, details. And what I want you to do is to work in the following exercise we have here. I need your help, students, for that part. It says, write the equations uh, to these answers, then practice with a partner. For example, um, we had to look for a possible equation. The answer is Angel Falls is uh, 979 meters, that's mean in parentheses, 3,212 feet high. So you can see here, and you had to write the equation. Es decir, nos da que la respuesta de que Angel Falls is uh, 979 meters. Pero ¿cómo puedo hacer la pregunta? ¿Cómo puedo formar yo la pregunta according to the answers we have here? And also look at the number two. The answer is that California is about uh, 400, 403,970 square kilometers. So you can see here, and in parentheses, like, uh, 155,973 square miles. And uh, what's the possible equation about it? Number three is like uh, the Nile is um, 6,670 kilometers, talking about 4,145 miles long. So you can see here, what's the possible equation about that? You can see how, how far, how big, how high, so you can think about it. And the last question is, uh, according to the answers we have, Washington, D.C. gets up to about 32 Celsius, uh, 95 hands in the summer. Let me see. I'm going to move this uh -huh, in the summer. So I will give you a short time to think about it. And you had to try to write equation according to the answers we have here. Let's go.
okay. Meanwhile, you work in this one, and I will I will take advantage to pass the attendant list so you can, uh, you can check this part, and uh, one second. One second, let me uh, check the attendant list one moment. So you can see here some possible examples, uh, uh, especially when we are uh, requesting, you know, you know, to know about some conditions about the weather, if this is cold, hot, so we can definitely identify important details. And it's necessary also to work with amounts, how to say thousand, like 3,000, 500, 4,000, 600,000. So you had to, to know that part. Yes, I'm opening up the attendant list here and you listen your name and you say present. One second in a moment. Let's see, we try here. And we're almost in the last part of the class, so we will try to enjoy this. And let's wait, let's wait. We go fast, we go fast with this. Okay, I found it. I got it. Let's see here. Okay, um, Ada, I got Burgos. Ada? Thank you. Uh, Blanca Elena Melara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Christian uh, Salatiel Molina. Present. Uh, Claudia Lisset Velázquez de Salgado. Present, teacher. Gracias. David Roberto Aquino. Present. Uh, Denis Francisco Alvarado. Yes, I'm here. Uh, Elena Gabriela Jove. Elena. En Esmeralda Isabel Martínez se encuentra por acá. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Present. Ok. <ríe> eh, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Héctor Iván Pérez. Héctor Iván Pérez. Present. Ok. Eh, okay. Jocelyn. Eh, Present. Ok. Jocelyn Stephanie. Jocelyn. Eh, ka, ka, Kenia Vanessa Corbera Marco Antonio Quijano Marco Present eh, María Elena Flores Present teacher Thanks eh, María, bueno, ok eh, Oscar Antonio Ramos Presente Ok eh, Rebeca Janelle Hernández Present teacher. Eh, Vanessa Gabriela Hernández. Present teacher. Ok, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Here teacher. Thanks. And Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok, so that's great. Vamos, eh, the possible answers. I don't know if somebody has some problems to throw on the the microphone, I think all of us were here. Okay, let's see here and let's check, let's check. Somebody wrote. Okay, see, sí, ya, yeah, solo tenemos tres estudiantes. Jovel Valle, que no mencionó. Mejia Rivera y Corbera. Okay, then all of you, all of you are here. Okay, so let's uh, finalize this exercise here. Hmm. Okay, let's see the number one. Help me with this one. Who wants to help me to respond the number one, a volunteer? How high is Angel Falls? Ah, okay, and the answer is... Angel Falls is 
Night meters. And three hundred three thousand three thousand um two hundred eleven feet uh twelve feet twelve feet twelve yes. feet thank you thank you so much great job so in that case it's how, right. yeah how high is the angel falls right excellent and I need the second one. So the equation in the answer, please. I need two parts. Who wants to do it? Number two. How big is California? And the answer the question the answer is California it is about four thousand three point nine hundred hundred seventy square kilometers and one hundred fifty five. Um, nine hundred seventy third square miles. Square mile, square miles. Square miles. Sorry. Okay, don't worry. That's cool. Okay. Oh, one one thousand. Uh, yeah. Uh, fifty five. So we could say like one hundred fifty five thousand nine hundred seventy three square miles. Right. That that was saying in Spanish como ciento cincuenta y cinco mil. Entonces decimos. 155,000, eh, decir 155,000, en este caso, right? 973 square miles. Okay, next, number three, volunteers. How long is the Nile? The Nile is... Uh, Six thousand six six hundred seventy kilometers or four thousand four hundred forty miles long. Excellent. Great job. Great job with that. That's great. Okay, so in that case we can see here the example in about four thousand. 145 miles long. Okay, number four. Who wants to help me with the next one? How hot is Washington, D.C. in the summer? Washington, D.C. gets up to about 32 grades Celsius, 90 grades. Fahrenheit in the summer. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was great. Okay, students, it's very interesting to know that. So we can also practice about that. Congratulations for the work done. It's 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 actually great. I totally, I totally agree with that. So thank you so much, guys, for, for being part of the class. I really appreciate it. So we will conclude. Don't forget to work in the exercises. And also um, that you have done a great job. So I hope to see you tomorrow. We are going so fast that in a couple of classes, we will finish this level. And then you will go on to the next level that, you know, you will see very interesting topics too. So if you, I don't know if you have a question. If not, we conclude the class this time. No questions. No questions. No, no questions. No questions. That's no awesome. No question. Okay. You are the boss. Okay. So thank you guys for the time. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Good luck. Okay, teacher. Thank, thank you. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye-bye.